Okay, in this part of the uh, guide sheet number three, acceleration, we're going to deal with how do you know if the acceleration is positive or negative or what its impact is on the velocity. Okay, there is a general rule of thumb that you can use over and over again. Uh, as long as the object is moving in a straight line, if it's slowing down, okay, so if the numbers, the magnitude is getting smaller, that indicates the direction of the acceleration is opposite to the direction of the motion, the velocity. If it's speeding up, if we see the numbers getting larger, the magnitude is the numbers, if we see that getting larger, then the acceleration's direction is the same as the direction of the actual physical motion. Okay, so that's also the velocity. So we're going to look at some cases down here and see if we can figure out which direction they're moving and what their acceleration would be. So the car is uh, going from 25 to 45. So the number is getting larger and it's moving east. So the vector direction is east. It's getting faster. In order to get faster, the direction of acceleration should agree with the velocity. So therefore, the acceleration should be to the east. A northbound car skids to a stop. So it's moving north and it's getting slower. Now the rule of thumb says if it's getting slower, the acceleration should be opposite to the direction of motion. Opposite of north is south. C, an Olympic diver slows down after splashing in the water. So say they're going down into the water. That's their motion. Uh, so let's call that down. Now they're getting slower, the water's causing them to slow down, so that means the acceleration must be opposite of down, which we could call up. Uh, southbound free quick kick, quick, uh, quick kick delivered by the opposing team is slowed down and stopped by the goalie. So the actual ball is moving to the south, and the goalie slows it down, so that means the acceleration has to be opposite to south, so it has to be to the north. Uh, downward falling parachutist. So we're moving down. Pulls the cord and rapidly slows down. Now you got this word down here and the word down here. Uh, they don't necessarily move mean the same thing. In this case, slows down means their magnitude is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. They're getting closer and closer to some set value. Uh, so again, the motion is down, and they're getting slower, so the acceleration must be opposite, which means it must be up. Uh, rightward, moving hot wheel car, so it's moving to the right. Uh, slows, again, to a stop, so again, to slow it to a stop, acceleration must be opposite to right, which is going to be left. Now hopefully you can start to see that we could call this a positive and this negative. We could call down negative and this positive. So we can turn this into a mathematical uh, way of looking at these things as well. Uh, finally, for this section, a falling bungee jumper slows down as she nears the concrete sidewalk below. So she's falling, so the motion is down. And she's slowing, uh, so that indicates the magnitude is getting smaller. So it means the acceleration has to be opposite of down, so it has to be up. Okay, so again, general rule of thumb. To slow down for the magnitude of the speed to become less, you must have the acceleration in the opposite direction to the motion. To speed up for the magnitude to become larger, you must have the acceleration in the same direction as the motion. So therefore, it does not always mean that negative acceleration is slowing down, and the positive acceleration is speeding up. Okay, so we've got a motion now, it's along a track, so the shapes are slightly different, but each one can be considered a one line uh, piece of motion. Uh, we're gonna look at the three different parts, from A to B, and then from, uh, as it goes around, uh, from B to C. So, <clears throat> uh, here we are at point X. We're gonna look at the velocity vector. Um, um, the vector of uh, vector, as we should remember from our friend Vector from Despicable Me, is an arrow with both magnitude and direction. So the arrow head points in the direction we're moving. The length of the arrow would tell us uh, basically our velocity. 
Okay, so this car starts up here at point A, descends the hill, speeding up from A to B. So here we're getting faster. Our velocity vector would be along this line right here. Okay, as we got lower and lower, that line, that vector would become longer and longer because we would be going faster. Uh, so the direction of velocity vector is uh, down and to the right, so let's say southeast. Uh, it's moving, okay, and the velocity vector is about the direction we're moving along the track. Okay, now the acceleration vector. Now, as we move down that section, we are speeding up. That indicates that the acceleration vector also has to be in the same direction. So it's also southeast. We're getting faster. Therefore, V, the velocity vector, and acceleration must be in the same direction. OK, so blue there was the velocity vector. and. Uh, Red was acceleration vector. Now at point Y, uh, as we go through point Y, there at the after a short straight section of track, the car rounds the curve and finishes from point C. Continuously slows down from point B to point C. So all this time, friction or some other force is causing us to slow down continuously. So if we go to Y, again when we look for the velocity vector. The velocity vector is going to be pointed along the same angle, same direction as the track. Now we're slowing down, so that means the acceleration vector has to be opposite to that. Now the longer the acceleration arrow is, the more our slowdown is going to be. Now we go down, we go around the curve here, and when we get to point a Z, we're going to be moving to the left because again we're following the track. Now, in fact, I should draw that arrow smaller because it's slowed down from point Y. Uh, then, to slow down, the acceleration has to be opposite to that. Now, notice here we had a what you would call a leftward, probably most people would say is a negative acceleration, and we were slowing down. Here we had a rightward acceleration, which was positive and we were also slowing down. So it's not the plus or minus of the acceleration, it is how the acceleration vector's direction is related to the velocity vector. Anytime they're opposites, we're going to slow down. Anytime they're the same, we're going to speed up. So if we go here to, in words, we're moving to the right, uh, and again that's the direction of the track, but the acceleration has to be to the left because we're slowing down. And in order to slow down, that motion has to be opposite. That acceleration has to be opposite. At point Z, we're moving to the left. Again, we're following the track. This time, the acceleration has to be to the right. Because again, we're still slowing down. And anytime we slow down, A is opposite in direction to the velocity vector. Okay, to speed up they must be the same. So up here uh, we got faster so A is same as uh, the velocity vector's direction. Okay, If you're trying to think of ways to remember that, just if you want to make something go faster, you want to push it in the direction you want it to go faster. If it's coming towards you and you want to slow it down, you push against it. You push against the motion to make it slow down. That's really the forces that cause acceleration. We're not specifically looking at those now, but that's where it comes from, and that's why it has to be opposite to slow down and in the same direction to speed up. All right, again, acceleration is the most difficult, one of the most challenging topics we uh, tackle. It's very, uh, it's not visual, it's more of a feel, it can take, it's easy to confuse velocity and acceleration. Uh, you're going to probably do that many times before you become comfortable with it. So don't be surprised if you confuse those two for quite a while. And that's it for this version of acceleration.